Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 19 in chapter 8. Chapter 8 is about conservation of energy. At this one, you can see we have this model, the book, uh, just a small object with the spring, right? So we take this one as reference point. As there, the ball just uh, touch the spring, no compress. So at this one, there is no compress, x is 0, and the potential energy the reference point y, so we think the y, the position is zero. So at the position one, we can see this one, it is stationary. So velocity v1 is zero, and then because the ball just have a force, gravity acts on this spring, and then spring acts a force to support it. This is the, um, uh, the elastic force, right? Do you agree? So compressed as a the ball compressed the spring. So x1 equal to y1 equals negative 0 0.16 meter. This is the, the given quantities. It compressed. And then at the uh, position 2, we can see where the velocity is. We need to know by, because we choose this one as reference point. So x2 equal to y2 equals 0. Great. And then finally, this ball just uh, reaches to the highest point, the peak point. At the peak, the velocity becomes zero, and at the peak, there is no elastic force, so x3 is zero, agree? Only the gravity, and the gravity, so what is the position above the reference point, y3 we need to know. So in these problems, we still consider the energy is conserved, very easy to solve the problem. First one, we need to find v2, how can we do that? We can see the energy at, at the position 1 equals the energy at the position 2. At the position 1, we have the kinetic energy, gravity potential energy, and also elastic potential energy. Agree? At the position 2, we can write the kinetic energy, gravity potential energy, elastic potential energy in the right hand side of the equation. Now input is a known quantities, so only this term, this term, and this term survive. So we can solve the equation V2 in this function. And in this function, you can see the G is a constant, Y1 is given, K is a constant given, right? Spring's constant. And the mass is given. And X1 is also given. So in, if you input the known quantities very easily, you can get the V2. Now the next question, ask you Y3. What is the position? Y3 above, or how high above its origin position will the ball fly? So this one, Y3, so we consider the energy at the position 1 equals the energy at the position 3. So that means at the position 1, kinetic energy plus pot gravity potential energy plus elastic en potential energy equals the position 3, the kinetic energy plus the gravity potential energy, plus the elastic potential energy. See, in this equation, an input is a known quantities. We see only these three terms survive. And then very easily, we can solve the y3. In y3, you can say y1 is given, x1 is given, k is given, mass is given, g is a constant. So then you can input the known quantities and to solve the problems. First one, v2 is 7.47 meter per second. The second time we can find the Y3 is just a 3.01 meter. Thank you.